We also made a pledge to educate our university community about ethics. It's one thing to know the rules, regulations, and policies. It's another thing to create a culture where every employee wants to do the right thing the first time, every time. Through training and awareness building efforts, we're trying to help people understand the how, when, where, and why of reporting. I assure you that Penn State takes this commitment very seriously. What we've discovered, however, is that despite our staffing, there were gaps in the system, and we lacked a central compliance office where these efforts can be coordinated. We have since hired the university's first full-time compliance coordinator to ensure Penn State's overall compliance with the Cleary Act. With this new position, our goal is to not only ensure that Penn State meets the requirements set forth by federal law and the U.S. Department of Education, but to become a leader in campus safety, security, and compliance. What was the reaction on campus yesterday to Graham Spanier's charges? I uh, had uh, relatively few opportunities to, uh, to interact uh, with uh, individuals during the day in, in a kind of an informal uh, uh, discussion atmosphere. Um, you know, I am sure that uh, that there was uh, uh, emotion. There was a, a lot of uh, concern. Uh, Dr. Spanier was uh, was very well regarded uh, among the student body and and certainly among the the uh, the faculty. Uh, so I, I think we'll uh, we'll have a, a better opportunity to assess that uh, over the uh, the next few days and, and the weeks ahead.